Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday, and the 87 plus icon pick is expiring today. So, what's going to replace it, right? Sundays are normally the days where we get either an icon or a hero upgrade pack or pick SBC. And today probably shouldn't be any different. So we're going to look at what potentially could come today. Maybe an SBC we've seen before or something we haven't yet seen. We'll talk about that, how to maybe invest for it, and a sneaky move that EA made yesterday that you maybe didn't notice about how long winter wildcard items are in packs. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's go look over yesterday's content, starting with the upgrade pack SBC that seems really cool because it's Got a lot of players inside of it. And I've started the SBC, full disclosure. I'm doing this for the content, for the fun of it, because yes, this pack does seem kind of cool because it's so big, right? 100 players, it's very intriguing. It's a gamble, right? And it's a gamble that oftentimes doesn't give you a lot of really good players in return. The, the best part about it is it's an 83 with an inform and an 84 rated squad. So it's pretty easy to craft, especially with the our beloved 83 times 10 and the 83 plus team of the week player pick. But it does take a little bit of a grind. From scratch, it's about 80,000 coins. What you get back from this is really not worth 80,000 coins, specifically because there's so many silver and bronze players inside of it. But we opened a couple yesterday on the stream, couple double walkouts, couple informs, a promo card here or there. They're not that great, but it's something that you could craft, right? It's just bad in terms of value um, because you get so many silver and bronze players. But it is a fun gamble, and it's not that expensive. So I can't complain too much about it. It is definitely an interesting pack, and it is out for five days. So you got plenty of time to get it done if you wish. Now let's talk about our player SBC, the big Allison. 90 rated, right? I like the Allison that was on yesterday's YouTube thumbnail better. 93 rated with just more stats because for the price, that's the biggest problem with this card, guys. This card is what we called yesterday on stream a novelty card. It is a fun card for sure, but the price is the problem. And I got an issue with EA. This is so many now. It's It's been a trend. This is yet another SBC during winter wild cards that is overpriced. I mean, Allison Becker for 592,000 coins, 593k. Yes, this card does look fun. Yes, the power shot plus is probably really good. 90 passing probably makes him pretty decent as well. But I think I'm fine with my Thunderstruck Balak in the midfield, who also has power shot plus, four star, four star, and was a lot cheaper than this Allison card. Yes, I know he's a goalkeeper, position change in the midfield. But when I look at the stats, yes, he looks fun, but he looks. Just not worth 590,000 coins worth of fodder. Even if I'm crafting it, the stats, again, it's, I don't know, man. I think the pricing is the problem that I have with a lot of these SBCs. It's not that I hate the card. It's just over and over again during this promo, SBC after SBC is so expensive. Like the Martinelli, it is a really good card, but it's too expensive, right? And Babu, he's not even that expensive. The card's just not that good. Same with the Mobley, but especially as we look at the icons, Del Piero, why is that 600K? Bobby Moore, why is that 300 and whatever thousand coins? Why is Ian Wright 600K? Guys, I think about the good value SBCs that we've had so far. Balotelli, Havertz, Luis Hernandez. Like, are those the only really good Good, good and well-valued player SBCs that we've had. That doesn't feel like winter wild cards. So why is EA making these guys so expensive? That's the problem with I have with the SBC. Again, if you're a Liverpool fan, if you're Brazilian, if you just want to craft it because you want to try it out, it's fun, right? It's cool. It's a different card. Is he like Milinkovic Savage? There's no way he's like Sergei Milinkovic Savage. Or sorry, Vanja Milinkovic Savage. He doesn't have five-star skills. He's not six foot eight. This is a card that's released in the middle part of the year. Yes, it's fun, but yeah, man, I'm not going to be doing that one. I'm working on a hullet, and I just don't like doing the SBCs that are too overpriced unless it has a personal connection with me. So that's my take on that SBC. But uh, yeah, I just don't know why EA keeps overpricing things. That's my biggest problem, and that's probably what's killing a lot of the hype, honestly, for this Winter Wild Cards promo. We remember SBCs of old like Payet and ba Eric Bailly last year that were so cheap and good value, and this year it seems like there's less and less of those but yesterday we also had some upgrade packs that you cannot sleep on guys the daily bronze and silver upgrade right we are now have a daily gold bronze and silver upgrade and it is worth doing all of them every single day all you have to do for the daily bronze upgrade is turn in one player to get a premium bronze players pack back you might be like nate it's not worth my time 
It is. Trust me. You should do that SBC every single day because it refreshes every single day. And those players that you get can go into the daily gold upgrade, which gives you a lot of gold nine rares, which should hopefully go into either the winter wild cards crafting upgrade, which a lot of you guys might be doing right now, or we need the return of that 80 plus player pick soon. Please, EA. That 80 plus player pick was so good. That was alone enough to keep crafting and keep the menu grind available in this game. That needs to come back. Now, yesterday as well, we did have some evolution content, and it was an evolution that we knew it was leaked, it was coming, but it's very interesting. And it's one that I think, just like the other Evo that we had yesterday or two days ago in this game, like the high visibility Evo and the stop right there Evo fit in the same category to me, guys. This is an evolution once again for somebody that you probably want to use in a chain. 75,000 coins. It does cost, it actually does take a decent amount of gameplay as well. Play four, win four, play four rivals matches, and then win four again. So it's not like, you know, super duper easy. You do get some nice boost though. It's all about passing and dribbling. That is all, and some physical as well. Passing and dribbling is what this evolution is doing. It's upgrading these cards, and it doesn't really even touch anything else besides that, right? A little bit of physical boost as well. And you get some nice play styles, right? The weak foot is one part of this, though, that is really interesting and also very useful for a striker item. You get first touch, you get Tiki Taka, and a plus one weak foot, which is very nice. Um, guys, once again, though, as I look at who fits this in my club, it's a lot of lower tier, lower rated golds and silvers. Like the lower tier cards are what fit into this. Of course, you have to be a striker as a part of this. There's an overall max 85 rating. There are some interesting cards that fit into this. Actually, what's really interesting is if you take a look at um, foot.gg, there are 1.9 million players that fit this evolution. Stop right there, one and slash two. 1.9 million players is crazy. There are so many players that fit this Evo which is, again, another reason why I would say let this sit. Unless there's something right now that you know you want to put into this, this is an evolution that I would wait to do, just like some of the other ones that we have just had, and somehow try to combine it later on. I was even looking through here earlier today about like some evolved players that maybe you could do and do a combo chain evolution of like stop right there, maybe the growth spurt, taking a bronze or a silver player up to a crazy high level. In fact, let's take a look at some of the most popular evolution players right now. Um, you know, Openda, of course, is really hyped up for this one. Ooh, this guy looks pretty cracked. Mahu. All right, see, that's got an uh, expired evolution inside of it. You got to be careful with a lot of that stuff in there. But like, that's the sort of thing that over the next couple of weeks, this Evo's out for 20 days, right? Over the next couple of weeks, you might some find something that's really sick that can be evoed as a part of this that, you know, maybe you combine with another evo that gets dropped, creates a really absolutely insane beast. So I love the weak foot upgrade that is there, and it is 75,000 coins, and it does give some decent play styles, but uh, that just, again, does feel like a mid-evo. It's not bad, but it's not as good as last week, which is why we kind of were like, all right, our expectations are here, EA is delivering here once again now yesterday too we did have the mini release of cards that were put into packs once again they did it a little bit early and it was a pretty average mini release kind of crazy that the card that is highlighting and headlining this mini release has got so many evolution versions and i think that's the reason why he's so cheap on the market rabio is the most expensive card in the mini release he's forty thousand coins it was rabio becker lamella and curbello lamella's card's not that bad 90 passing 89 dribbling center attacking mid incisive pass play style plus rabio's card is not that bad either it's just already so dirt cheap because so many people have already evoed him multiple times over in different evos i think that's the reason why he's cheap but we did have uh the mini release some people are asking where's the nuno manage winter wild cards there was a leaked one but i don't know where it's gone i don't know when it's going to make its appearance it may not make an appearance at all that might just be one of those leaks that falls by the wayside and we never hear much about it again so that was a mini release that uh, happened yesterday and also i bought and sold a ton of cards yesterday guys the market right now is still a fantastic place to be trading i've got most of my coins back but I think today on this weekend and into this next week as well is going to be a really good time to trade on the market. What I'm focusing on the most is out of pack special cards. I'm looking through Team of the Group stages, the UEFA Heroes, a lot of the cards that we have been looking at 
um, are really, really great to trade with, especially the out-of-packs ones. I love flipping this Jonathan Klaus. He goes down to like 210,000 coins multiple times a day and then goes back up to 230, 240K, and you've got 10 to 12 to 15,000 coins of tax. I guess more like 10 to 12 because he never reaches 300 where there'd be 15,000 coins of tax. So I'm making like 10 to 15K per flip. If I get him at 205 like I did earlier and I'm selling him at 235, that's a really good flip right over the course of a day's time that's what i would continue to tell you guys to do click through the market look at these different promo teams like right now musiala i know his price his fluctuation that's up that's up a lot i'd sell him right now Saka, he's a little bit low bellingham he's a bit low like this jude bellingham at 650 like not to keep talking about the market over and over here but whatever budget you're on you can find promo cards to trade with watch their graphs and their fluctuations 650 is getting to a price where I'd say I'm interested. If this gets undercut by like 10 more K, this guy sells right around 700,000 coins. 640 to like 690, that's not that terrible of a flip. Yeah, you got about 35,000 coins of tax there selling right near 700K. But if we get one or two undercuts on that and he's like 640 or 630, that's a pretty good price. So look at all the out of packs cards. And I mentioned out of packs because those are usually the best ones to trade with. They got the best fluctuations. Um, even some of the cards that are impacts are good to trade with as well. And you can see that I've traded with some cards from the impacts promo team. Like yesterday, I got a really lucky sale on Alan Shearer. That was pretty crazy. At content yesterday, I bought a Debinia at 180, sold it at 205. That was a good flip. So again, tons of cards you can trade with right now. The market is hot. Prices are moving. It's a really, really good time to trade. I think today will be will be a good opportunity to watch the cards in packs as well. So make sure you keep an eye on the in packs cards from Winter Wild Cards Team 2 and Team 3. And what I want to tell you about actually is something that EA didn't say. They just did automatically. It's right here in the menus. It's going to be behind the face cam. I won't be able to see, show you on the screen. But Winter Wild Cards 2 was supposed to go out of packs Monday. It is now extended right here on this tab. You could look for yourself in game. Team 2 is now in the player pool until Friday. So Team 3 with Salah, Garincha, and all those guys. And Team 2 with Nkunku and Kyle Walker and Butragueño. They're all going out of packs at the same time. These cards were supposed to go out of packs early. EA changed the time so that both teams are in packs the full week. Now, these cards are out of packs Monday, all right? Monday, January 1st, winter best of. They will be going out of packs. So for right now, I would try to rip as many packs as you can. Hopefully, EA give us upgrade packs today so that we have more chances to pack these winter best of before they go out of packs as well. Now, let's talk about today's content on Sunday, right? And it all revolves around the icon or the hero player pick pack SBC. Last week, we were a bit surprised. The 87 plus base centurions or icon player pick, base or centurions icon player pick, we hadn't even had a regular base icon player pick and EA dropped a combo one on us. It's three squads. It had a lot of hype because it's not that expensive, right? And you could get some really good cards from it. And a lot of people did it. Not myself though, because we're crafting rude. Now, What's going to happen today, right? Because this is the thing. EA on Sundays, really anything goes for an icon pack or a hero pack. We had multiple weeks earlier on this year where it was just icon pack after icon pack. Like we had the Max 89. Then we had a base icon upgrade a couple weeks in a row. But two weeks ago, they gave us our first hero player pick, 86 plus hero player pick that we had had in a while. It was a one of two. Then, of course, they just gave us this 87 plus. So what in the world is going to drop today? I could see this SBC dropping again, but that wouldn't be too fun, right? I do think there is potential for another icon pack, another version of an icon pack to add in one of the most recent sets of icons into a pack. That could be dropping today, and it's this pack code right here. You might be like, Nate, nah, this is already added to the game. It has been. It's at level 35 in objectives, but like I said earlier on when I saw those season rewards, nothing in objectives is all like brand new, right? A lot of stuff in objectives for packs are released elsewhere first. I believe thoroughly that we're going to see the 87 plus base Centurion or Thunderstruck icon pack, which is 87 plus again, like the pick, but this time it's a pack and it includes Thunderstruck cards. I believe we're going to see this as an SBC before we're able to get to level 35. So whether it's today, whether it's next week, in the next two weeks, three weeks, I think we'll see that as an SBC. Maybe it's today. Who knows? All I know about Icon SBCs is EA loves 250,000 coins-ish 
as the range for these. Look at all the ones we've seen this year. Yeah, you had a couple cheap ones in there. The first icons, of course, icons are a lot cheaper when they're max 87. So they make those a bit cheaper, 115 to 130K. But the last three icon species we've had have been between 250 and 274,000 coins. And fodder right now is pretty cheap. So I think that if they were to drop one of these again, if they were to drop this icon pack, it would probably still be around the 300K range. You know, you talk about the Thunderstruck cards that does add in a lot of really expensive icons, right? You go down here to Thunderstruck and you've got Dino, Cruyff, Henri, Pushkas, Cafu, some big name players in here, Kaká, Cantona. This would be really, really hype if EA gave us the chance to pack one of these cards in an icon pack. Maybe they'd up that price to like 350,000 coins. There's potential for that. So uh, that's one SBC that could be dropping today, but also... EA love to do one week icon pack, one week hero pick or pack, right? And there is a Fantastic Five hero player pick that has been added into the code. The last time we had a hero play pick, like we just looked at, it was a one of two. We really need to get away from this, guys. And honestly, this one of five hero pick, yeah, it's one of five. I would see that, though, as an L because who wants base heroes at this stage of the game? If they're going to give us a hero pick, include triple threats at least, which isn't going to include that many great heroes you have cole govu morientes and then boosted versions of torre and ginola it's only like six heroes so that's not that great if they add those in as well you're just, if you get lucky for a torre or a ginola you're getting super lucky in a dynamic uh, image of a different car design so i don't know i think this would be seen as kind of an l although it is a one of five so you would have a decent chance of packing some really good heroes so there could be a little bit of hype for this but if this player pick is dropped for heroes i think it will be a lot cheaper it should be like 150k instead of like 275 or 300k for an icon pack so yeah that's that there you know we're gonna find out what we're gonna get before content today if you take a look at fifa romania on twitter he's been posting on sundays the icon pack or the hero pick that we're gonna get before content a couple hours before so maybe you'll have an idea of what might be coming out how expensive it might be so i will shout out his twitter there because he's been posting a lot of that stuff early hopefully ea end off this year with a banger but with those sbcs in coming i do want to look at fodder because fodder is once again at a place guys 88 rated cards are 17k yesterday they were 16,000 coins you can probably still get them on bid at 16k after the lightning rounds the pack supply that dropped these cards were down at 16k flat when was the last time that 88s were 16k you might ask oh the first two weeks of the entire year with all the sbcs that we have out right now yes albeit a lot of them overpriced but think about it icon packs that are going to be continually released over the next two weeks you've got the zidane the holet the eusebio a player of the month mbappe more player of the months incoming a lot of player sbcs I can't meet I can't imagine that all of these cards are going to stay this cheap, right? I think that some of the fodder right now on this market in terms of the prices might even be good for the next 2 weeks to just invest in, do a club stock and say, "Wow, these prices are cheap. I'm going to hold on to these for a while because they should probably rise with just simple SBC demand and a lot of SBCs being out." I like specifically for today for the Icon SBC potential, I like 87s and 88s. 87s at 10k just like uh, the 88s are like crazy low for where they have been throughout the entire year. They've been between 12 to 18K, and now they're down here at 10,000 coins. Stock your club with a couple, right? You'll probably be happy in a couple weeks. I do believe these prices can go up, especially before a team of the year. EA is going to want to drain coins out of people's accounts so that they put on FC points during team of the year for sure. So I think that 88s at uh, under 17K are really good. 87s under 11,000 coins are really good. And even I would shout 86s, right? 86s have started to go up, right? You take a look at Musiala. How much was he on Friday? He was like 7.3K. Yesterday, he was 7.6, starting to rise to like 8,000 coins. I think maybe last week, they were a little bit cheaper too at like 7K. Maybe even a little below that for 86s at 7K. Like 7.2, 7.3 for 86s is probably good. If we don't get a good SBC today, you know, there will be some lightning rounds 100%. But EA is running less lightning rounds like 
I go into the store right now, there are no lightning rounds, no global limit packs in the store. And there are less packs inside of the promo pack section as well, mostly the untradeable packs, right? So the 84 times 10, it did come out yesterday, but it's not impacting the market as much because they're not releasing them as much, which is why I think it's probably a decent time to get locked in and, and to get club stocked, which is probably what I need to do here um, and, and get on some bids, right? I think bids are the place to do that, especially if we don't get good content today. Um, I could see bids being a really good place with the lightning rounds to be doing some club stocking. So that's kind of my thoughts on the club stocks there. 85s, yeah, they're starting to go up, right? They were really, really low last week. They were 4K. Now they're back up to 5,000 coins, which is more of their usual. I mean, usually 85s are like 6 to 7K. So 5,000 coins, like 5.3 to 4 for 85s is decent. Uh, if those drop back down today, that's good. 84s, if you can get like low 2K range, those are starting to go up as well. Same with 83s. I think it's because the year in review player pick that we had yesterday and that 100 players pack, man. I know that we mentioned it is not that great a value, but a lot of people see, wow, 100 players in a pack. Let me do that real quick. So that's why you're seeing some of the 83s, 4s, and 5s go up because that fits perfectly into what you need for that SBC that dropped yesterday. And those prices definitely went up. All in all, fodder in terms of the golds, um, looks to be pretty good for a club stock. Now, really quick for the high tier, 89s, 30,000 coins. Um, even for some of these cards, like Rodri, he's fodder, right? He was 21K up to 40K. Usually these cards are between 34 and 38,000 coins, and now they've been 29,000 coins the past couple days. I think this is a decent club stock for these two, honestly. Like, I think the whole fodder market is down, down, down from all this, the supply and the lightning rounds that we have had. And we still have a decent amount of SBCs that are out. And there's a lot of people playing this game. And there's going to be more SBC content. And one thing we know is that EA is going to keep churning it out. So those, whether it's long term uh, or maybe even today, if we have a higher rated, if we had an 88 rated squad inside of an icon pack, 89s will go up, right? If we have an 87 rated squad inside of an icon pack, 88s will go up. 87s will go up for that as well. That's why I like this range. And even the 90s for 49K is a bit low. Compared to previous years, 90s are expensive this year. But I think that's because, um, you know, it's hard to pack them. And that's what you need for those 89 rated squads or the first 90 rated squad they put inside of, what was it, Mbappe or Eusebio. Uh, so you need those. So decent club stock opportunity for those as well. I just think fodder overall is really, really low. And it has been low, but I think we're nearing the time where it could start to go up later on this week, into next week, and all sorts of things like that. There's going to be a lot of demand still. Now, Team of the Weeks, obviously, are a very big point for fodder as well. We're talking fodder in today's video for sure. Team of the Weeks went up yesterday because of that pack, right? It contains a Team of the Week requirement. They're 40,000 coins again. It really depends on today's content if this stuff goes higher or not. The 83 times 10 guys is expiring tomorrow. Which is one thing that if Team of the Weeks are going to go up, I think they have one last shot to go up, and it's today. If we get a new icon pack or player pick or hero player pick that requires an inform that is hyped, it's got to be a good one, right? Upvoted on Footbin, price is good, people are excited about it. They could go up one more time today, but I think after today, that's probably it. I think they will drop off a good amount unless the 83 times 10 comes back because this SBC, I think, is just so much demand for them. Uh, the year in review player pick as well is demand for them the new sbc that dropped yesterday so they're up because there's a lot of demand right now but once some of these sbcs go away i just think they're going to end up going down so maybe today if you have some of those maybe take the cash i'm not going to be investing personally i'm not going to buy informs until i see them back back down under 30k at least and even then it's, it seems crazy to me to buy an inform for an investment of 30,000 coins but it could be possible. So that's the fodder talk in today's video. I wanted to spend some time talking about that. I know a lot of you guys like to make coins on fodder and SBCs are going to continue to roll out. So I think it's maybe an, an opportunity today, maybe during squad battle rewards, if there's a little bit of supply to get on some bids, maybe at content, depending on what content comes out for sure, get on some bids and that be, could be good. Now, other content that could come today on Sunday, of course, we're looking at our graphic, right? It's Davor Suker, the last SBC player of FC24 in 2023. It's going to be Davor Suker today, right? And um, yeah, he's got a very mid card for his base version. He does have Trivella. He's got Chip Shot and Technical on his base card. His icon's been minimum price almost all year long, by the way, which is crazy. But um, hopefully they'll do a Luis Hernandez type boost to this card. Maybe they give him Finesse Plus. I hope they give him like high 80s pace or 90 pace, keep his shooting high, boost up his passing and dribbling, 
and make this card pretty cracked. He's already 4-4. He's left-footed. Give him some play styles. He's lean body type. He could be really good. There's potential here, man. Um, I'm hopeful, but I'm not expectant, right? The last SBCs, as, we, as we've mentioned, have just been expensive and overpriced. And I hope today maybe turns the tide, but maybe it's not until tomorrow with Diada. This Diada card actually might be pretty cracked because he's got a lot of pace. So hoping that that one could be good. But these last three Icon SBCs, Su Suker, Roy Keane, and Trezeguet, they got to actually make them well-priced and give them some decent boosts because, again, I'm losing hope with Winter Wildcard player SBCs because of the prices. Now, other content, right? We're dropping an Evo basically every single day, or at least EA seems to be dropping an Evo every day like it was last week around this time in the weekend heading into the start of the week. We've had Evos the past two days. We still have two of the four league Evos that have been talked about. We have the Keep Up Evolution, which is the center back evolution that made Saliba's price go up a lot on the market. That one still is coming. And then also we have the Crossing Crusader Evolution, which was leaked before and evidently the um, Whipped Pass Plus playstyle fits uh, that Evo or maybe one thing that is given out as a part of that Evo. So hopefully one of those two is today i would expect one of those two to be dropped today oh robert taylor fits that one. Ooh, that's kind of a saucy card now that's a really early on in form i doubt that's even like on the market you have to get actually you couldn't even pack him from a team league player pick because he's uh what was his rating right there 80 rated yeah wow GG's EA, that one doesn't even that doesn't even exist in this game anymore. But uh, anyways, I think that's the content for today, guys. Objectives, we're all getting an 80 plus times 10 because uh, the, the next day, which we're two days away from getting this thing completely finished, the daily login completionist um, today is a winter wild cards loan and an 80 times 10. And then tomorrow on Monday, we'll finish this thing off with an 84 times 20. Everybody gets an 84 times 20, which is another reason I think fodder could go up because these are untradeable, and that's going to make people want to go do SBCs. Maybe the SBC that EA drops today. That's why I'm hoping they drop a big boy eye compact like that Thunderstruck eye compact. You know what I'm saying? That could be good. I have high hopes. Um, and I got to finish hold it. Hopefully that 84 times 20 is going to get that done for me. But yeah, guys, also, there's an extra day to play Weekend League, which don't look at my record when I show you this, but it's been a terrible Weekend League, man. But once again, you have an extra day. Oh, you can't even see it. It's behind the camera. Two days um, to play. It's not, you know, the counter is not timing down until Monday. It's Tuesday, right? So we got that extra day, which is very nice. I think maybe it's happening for the rest of the entire season of Frostbite, which is really, really dope. We love an extra day for Weekend League. I hope it's not just uh, for this like these last two weeks with the holidays and stuff new year and, and christmas and all that we'll have to see uh, but i do like that from ea that is very nice and looks like our jude bellingham opportunity is gone so there's that but yeah guys i think that's the video for today i'm gonna keep watching the market i'm gonna watch the wild card players really closely today and i'm hoping that today's content on sunday is decent because other than that we really need something to turn up in this game right now the allison yesterday is cool but again a lot of you guys in the comments Yesterday, we're saying that, man, you just think that the Allison, all the position changes and all that stuff, is it's too early for that, right? It's too early, and you just don't like how EA is going about this right now with winter wildcards from what it used to be to kind of what it is now. It feels like shapeshifters and all that, and I hear you, right? I totally hear you. We'll see what EA do today with Sukair. Hopefully, they keep him a striker, an attacker, and they give him some good play styles. I'm fingers crossed for something good there, but again, no high expectations. I'm not going to say he's going to be good, and then he's going to be absolutely crap like the last ones have been. So that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I will see you guys in a video tomorrow, the first video of 2024, man. Happy New Year. See you guys there. Peace. Out.